Alright, hello guys, and welcome back to the third part of Line of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So, in the last part, we've cleared two shrines. We got two cool abilities. We have the Ultra Hand and the Fuse ability. Ultra Hand is basically the Magnesis tool that we had. You can combine stuff with each other, like that, for example. So we a board, a door, and whatever, just mixed together. And we also have the fuse ability. Um, let's go right here. And you can fuse weapons with materials. So, for example, I have the thick stick, thick stick. We have a boulder hammer. We have some zonite spear. So, I created the spear, or I combined the spear with the zonite part, or the soldier reaper. It's like sword. So, stick with Zonai part as well and we also have a sail guster that can create winds just like that and yeah basically that's everything that we found and if you missed that part go watch it and leave a like and subscribe as well while you're doing that but without further ado our next mission or discovery bonsai cave our next thing to do was to go into the cave because we gained some batteries and we should go oh there's a bat a flint and amber i assume you can attach into an to and home and quality nice fly further so every monster material also does things i'm assuming and what are you are you a ghost you do have to be scared yeah i have to be scared i guess so can i shoot an arrow so let's mm, let's combine it with a sonite charge and will it get electric yes it does Are you friendly? No, but you dropped. Bubble gem. A strange crystal left by defeating bubble frogs in caves. Its every blue glows may entice you to collect even more. Uh, okay. Interesting. Um, I would like to get my tray to with them. Nice. Because it still has the properties of a sword, so it's still powerful. Let's just try some more minerals. And what are those plants? Just giant bright bloom seed, a seed that fans in the ground and struck to root and bloom, raising a large amount of light from a big flower. Can I combine that to my bow? That's so cool, you can make a light. Oh, yeah, that's super cool. So I'll take some. And I want to destroy this wall here. So we don't have bombs now. We have stone swords or boulder swords. Okay, I thought it would work. We have a ruby. Rubies contain the power of fire and have fetched a high price since ancient times. So there are more materials that do the same stuff. So even though we have a fire fruit, we can also use a ruby apparently to generate fire with fire arrows. Uh, if I understood that correctly. But still, you have so many options. And there's a chest. When we finally got some clothes. I mean, it's not as much, but still super cool. And here we learn about the batteries i'm assuming so let's see roru the steel constructs were the first to be built after that we crafted our suits for different jobs culinary constructs make the constructs find all sort of hands to lack in this place some became so scared within their specialties they surpassed us we began to learn from them instead mm. so ai basically all right That was lots of damage. So, 
What are you teaching us? These river rats are seriously damaged. They may be beyond repair, this could present a problem. Rats are broken, the Zona devices will be useful and useless until they're fixed. So there are two server in play and not know of them. There are necessities here, I recommend you learn how to use them so that I cannot teach you. I'm occupied, alright. So those are the zone I devices, those fans. And you will teach me how to work with them. The rafts were crossing the other side are broken. Transportation is a hold. Or anywhere a standard source of conserve. The only silver lining is that the zone I devices are undamaged. So what are those now? The green thing is called the zone I device. This one is a fan, you can produce wind and demand by striking it. Yourself evidently useful, we have a variety of zona devices for multitudinous purposes. An extra energy cell will be in for you in your case, but we have one, we got one in the last part. Energy cell source the energy request to use zona devices. Its energy will replenish automatically what zona devices are not in use. Its capacity is not unlimited, use energy contained within wisely. So I'm assuming we can recharge that with the zonai parts so let's build a raft all right so i've built a little raft right here and you can see those are the fans and let's place you in the water and see if you work or not looks good so let's jump onto yeah, link the jumping, we still need to work on that. So now if we hit the fence, it drives. And they work simultaneously, so I cannot shut down one. It just goes like that. Alright, that's cool. And we have a battery sign and it reloads, so it's not endless, but it recharges automatically. So that's super cool. What is that? Stem bulb. Oh, like an onion. So we made it here. Do we get a reward or not? I mean, we can cook here. Mountain path especially rocked. You must take your environment into account while traveling. Guidelines for traveling this mountain path. Yeah, sure. Fire is a crucial tool in traveling the mountain path. A fire can be used either to cook or warm itself. Uh, yeah, we know how to start fire, but... Place flint next to a bundle of wood and strike with a metallic or stony weapon. Alright. Mm, yeah, how do we cook? I mean, I cooked already once, but... One method of cooking is simply to throw in a the pot, are careful. Insects and monster parts are not edible. Can make elixirs out of them. Yep, we know that. So, we... I think we need to go to the inventory. Let's use... All two of them. And a piece of meat. Oh, maybe we should start a fire first. So we can either, as he said, place some flint down here and then hit it just like that and now we can cook some meat yo why didn't they cook didn't want to eat that Oh, and they hunt the hymn of... What was it? Was it the hymn of light? I'm not remembering. But he hunted that. Really cool. Energizing steamed meat. Yeah, and now we got some meat. That is cool. Pretty cool. Sorry. Alright, so we need to go up here. 
so I'm guessing if we climb the mountain, we should be able to somehow get there, right? So let's see where this adventure takes us. Got some mushrooms. Or maybe we can use that thing to get up. Would be cool. Hello, Mr. Slime. Bye, Mr. Slime. And it looks like we can go down here. Did we... There's a balloon. I'll shoot you in a moment. Just let me get some... So I charges. Okay, thank you. And another zone I charge. Nice. So let's... Get to the balloon we have. Let's go. You're not test so but you see me. I didn't know someone like you could switch on in the forest. Well, if you're head so please return us to him. And yeah, there are Koroks in this game, apparently. Interesting, I would say. Will there be 999? I don't know. But at least it gets marked on the map, so you don't need to do that. I think in the first part you needed to manually like map the Koroks where you found them already. So at least now we see, okay, there is a Korok here. Good to know. Thank you, Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, for not needing to do that automatically. Two more slimes. Oh, maybe equip a weapon. It's just that thick, 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 thick. That's so hard to pronounce. Thick, 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 thick. Yeah. Pretty powerful. And it's just such a brainless um, weapon. So there is a cave right here and a camp. It looks like. Okay, so maybe it will not work with the wood. Whoops, was too far away. Doesn't matter. So there's a camp right there. And he saw me already. But you know what? I will electrify you. Two, three. Didn't really work how I wanted it to work, so let's use. We have some fire, right? Yeah, we have some fire. Do that. I'm not sure where his head is, to be honest. Oh, a parrot. Nice. I mean, I wanted to do that, but... What do I have equipped? It's an axe, right? Yeah, let's use our soldier's reaper. Touch that and finish up with the jump attack. Nope. Okay, so those constructs are pretty powerful. But we need to be careful of them. So I got a chest. I mean, there was a shield here that I could have used, but that's alright. And I need to eat some food. Can I eat with. No, I need to go to the inventory and eat. And what do we have in this chest? It's an opal. Contain the power of water. Okay, so we have a cave here. And I see some minecarts. So obviously I will put them on the track. I'm assuming we need a fan or two. Probably just one should be enough. And now we just go. Don't want to destroy some weapons, so I'll just do it like that. Let's go! That's so cool! And we discovered a new cave. Okay, it's dark. 
So do we find another of those frogs in here? This cave is special. You need light in order to proceed. Do you have any problem seeds? Yep, I do. Go in caves. There were tiny ones in the as well. Chaos beam must be clean. All right. Okay. Yeah. Watch your steps. So we now need to create our own light. Oh, that's so interesting as well. Let's get some light on the mineral. Do I have a boulder sword? Not really. But this one should Never mind. Needs a stronger weapon. Zonite in unusual mineral that has many purposes. Ancient expectations were made in Japan to crafting weapon and armor. Okay, so there is also special uh, special ore as well. Hmm. Is there somewhere a rock that I can use to fuse with the... Yeah, there is. So let's fuse it to the stick here. No, I need the stone axe. But I don't need this sparrow thingy. So let's fuse them together. I didn't want the stick stick. Oh, it works. Works as well. So let's get some materials. Oh, so the first part of the stick broke. Now I can refuse it. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. So in theory, you can just have one weapon of each kind and just fuse them with others and as soon as the one part gets destroyed you can use it for a second one that's cool and i just realized i also had a shield with a boulder on it so i could have destroyed them with that as well so let's make some light in here to get some more zonite please okay so i think we got everything and there's lava here Not use the lava. There's some zonite here. Okay, so you will explain to me what this is, right? Unique material that can be mined far beneath the land below. Mm -hmm. I was entirely flourished by processing the substance into other material. Mm -hmm. I'm going to materials and some properties. Few such materials, okay. So you are crafting an armor for me or a weapon? Okay, explain it to me. Oh, so not weapons and armors. So not charges. This occasion is solid when the form known as crystallized charges. Converting zonite into other useful materials in this way is called processing. Yeah. Just can because we're replenishing our energy. Now, what do we need? Oh, so we consume those things to recharge our batteries. Okay. We mainly use them for raw materials in the construction of energy cells. Please visit any time. I wanted to collect that. Oh. Okay. Sorry. The fragment is crystal made by. Concentrating zonite charges, processing from zonite, set to be used for any cell improvement. Yeah. Take all of them, I guess. Sure. So I have 10 now, so am I able to upgrade? Probably we need to do that somewhere else at the refinery or here. 
or here. So let's process. Yeah, I bought them already. Okay, never mind. You don't do that here. Or did I just spend all my money on things that I didn't need? Maybe they forgot to bring Zorna capsules. What are Zorna capsules? Convenient means of carrying portable Zona devices. Unfortunately, you seem to have none will lend you. Oh! Interesting. So you can take your Zona parts with you. Okay, remember the device cannot be put back in its capsule thing. Okay, so you can reuse them. Okay. Got it. Okay, that's so interesting. But also, you need to think now, when do I use my Zonai stuff and when I don't. Okay, let's get some more Zonite. Can I destroy that? Thank you. So now you're confused. This is where support, but my request does support now. So therefore, continue to mine with the rest. There's nothing to mine anymore. And he's walking away. Sorry. So now we need to get back up, and I'm assuming we need the now collected Zonai capsule with the fan in it. Where do, I, where do I find it? Is there here? Take out device. Quick take out materials. Oh, we have them here as well. Okay, okay. Um, sir, would you mind? Thank you. I'll need you to place right here. And... Can go. Now we're climbing back up, or where are we going? I mean, hopefully it's... Taking us... Yeah, so we were there, and now we're climbing up. Alright, so we learned about the Zonai things. And you're here to tell me that you're proud? No. The time bell that sounded from the Temple of Time rings at a set time each morning and evening. Along with the constructs, we woke and the sound of the bell. When we heard it in the evening, we know it's time to rest. Mm. Sound of bell stir from memory. Okay. Thanks. And what is that thing? It's just a huge catcher machine. Devices. Oh, that's for. Okay, okay. Operation confirmed on track to meet today's zone. I cast production target. Do you want to use the dispenser? I've nearly met my target. You're welcome to use it. Okay. Yeah, I'm assuming that here you can get your zone devices. Those capsules. Now you can press the zone. Shall I experience zone capsules? Yeah, sure. The device cannot be put back in yeah, we know that. Just mm -hmm. will always have a few. The dispenser rain available to use. So, how do I use it? Alright, so we put Zona materials in, so I have five hordes. Maybe I need a charger as well, but let's see. And we got five. Those two f flame emitters. Zona device that shoots fire. Okay. And a pot. Zona device to cook food almost any time. And it will last for cooking one. 
That's so cool, so you can reuse your materials here to get other materials. Nice. And it looks like we are back. Are we back? No, we're at a different place because there is another Korok here. Needs to go back to his friends. Or are they the same? Hmm, not sure. And now we need to create a thing with the fans and everything, or with the minecart. Okay, um, guys, I would say uh, this will be it for this part. I actually wanted to go to the shrine, but it looks like we still have some ways to go. But if we create a car there, we go up there, we should reach it in the next part. So, guys, if you like this part, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next part of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, obviously. Bye!